Good morning. I'm Phil Atkins from the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board of Allen Oglays and Hardin Counties, and welcome to our second annual summit. Last year, more than 800 people joined us to learn what we could do about the problem of bath salts, opiates, and prescription drug abuse. That awareness led to local laws against bath salts and eventually a statewide ban on a drug that caught us all unaware but had devastating consequences. This year, the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board is gathering people to our summit on suicide awareness and prevention. Last year in our three counties, there were 16 documented suicides. We believe that there were others that just didn't get reported as suicide, and we know that the number of people who attempt suicide is many times that. The number of suicides that have occurred this year is tragically outpacing last year. This issue is so fresh in our experience and so devastating to our communities that the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board knew that there was an urgent need to bring people together to learn about suicide and what we can do to increase awareness, prevent it from occurring, and offer sensitive, compassionate help to those left behind. We believe that bringing people together is one of the primary purposes of the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board. The issues of mental and emotional health and substance abuse touch every aspect of people's lives. Before we begin, we'd like to introduce our new logo and give you a first look at our new WeCarePeople.org. We wanted a logo that illustrated the power of coming together and our role and responsibility to be the organization that convenes these discussions, not just with our own agencies, but with everyone in our communities. Of course, our family of agencies will always be known as the We Care People. Let's take a look. Welcome to the new WeCarePeople.org. I'm going to point out a couple design aspects of the site and highlight a few key features. First, you'll notice that the site centers around the new Mental Health and Recovery Services Board logo. This represents the coming together of all the agencies, resources, media, and other aspects of the WeCare community coming together to form a central informational hub as you hover over different petals in the logo, the center sphere changes to show important info or upcoming events. Clicking on the center sphere will take you to the highlighted page. Not only can you navigate the site by using the logo, you can also use the more traditional navigation located at the bottom of the page. You may have noticed that the Crisis Hope line is displayed boldly at the top of the page. This remains constant throughout the site and is easy to find for those with immediate need. The We Care People logo always brings us back to the homepage, and social media links are displayed below. Down here we have a link to the featured videos. Let's click on it. This is the video library page. This library will grow as we create content about services the We Care People provide and about specific issues such as suicide or domestic violence. We also hope to create how-to videos that make it easier for people to find the help they need. We realize that video is a powerful medium, and we hope that by having a large video library, we can more thoroughly assist the community in getting the information they need. Speaking of finding needed information and help, let's go to the Need Help page. This page provides a clear and concise way to find the agencies that can help with specific issues. Again, the Crisis Hope Line is easy to locate. The Calendar page lists community and agency events of interest. You can submit your own event to be added to the calendar by using the contact form on the left side of the page. This is the news and blog page. Here you can find flyers for upcoming events that you can download and print. Our blog is titled An Occupied Mind and is written by Sarah Barrelsman. Be sure to check back regularly to keep up with Sarah's insightful and entertaining posts. The Publications page is where you'll find our new monthly newsletter and other useful materials, such as PowerPoint presentations from today's event. I couldn't point out every feature of the new site, so be sure to check it out and click around on your own. We hope that the new WeCarePeople.org can act as the nerve center for the agencies in our network, as well as the larger community. We hope you like our new look and the ease of finding just what you need on WeCarePeople.org. But most of all, we appreciate your willingness to not only join us for this important day, but for being willing to convene with us and be our partners every day. Now please join me in welcoming the Executive Director of the Mental Health and Recovery Services Board, Mike Shanehoffer. <laughs>